Hi everyone, my name is Yip Chi and well today I will uh, well introduce another book called Who Were the Beatles? Written by Geoff Edgers, illustrated by Jeremy Tuber. Well, they were called us the Fab Four and if you say John, Paul, George, and Ringo, people will know who are you talking about. Well, of course, in the 1960s, early 1960s. Well, in the present, people have forgotten all about the Beatles and all their famous uh, stuff they've done. A lot of, a lot of, um, well, Famous group have done a bigger ones with a lot more money and more hands up. The fashion is changed too, but well, the Beatles are legend, so can't forget about them. They are they get um they put they make their hair that um, the reporters call them the mop top and the jacket always which button all to the top um, their accent were different too because they were from Liverpool, England but before them all the pop stars were Americans well there were four people in the group. That's why they are called the Fab Four. John Lemon and Richard Starkey, later known as Ringo Starr, are born in Liverpool, England in 1940. In 1942, Paul McCartney is born and in 1943, George Harrison is born. In 1956, Paul sees John Spann, the chairman, play at a church function. He asks to join the group after trying out. A lot of people want to try out too, um, but just for fun or just like music. Because, well, they're, these guys are not famous at first. Paul introduced George and George become the members of the team, the band. In 1962, Ringo replaced Pete Best to become the new Beatles drummer. Ringo, as you know right now, well, maybe you know. A lot of people in uh, well in the present uh, like the Beatles very much. In 1964, the first movie has come out, and well, a lot of fans come there too. And is the movie A Hard Day's Night is released. In 1965, the song Yesterday of the Band became a big hit. Number one hit. And This Pepper's Lonely Heart Club Band is released. It is one of the greatest albums ever. In 1969, recording Let It Be, the Beatles performed for a, new, a few friends on the roof of a building. The last time they're playing the public together, they are forced to stop when somebody complains to the police. 
Although they play really good, but it's still a fact that another person that who doesn't like music or um well don't like noise, noisy sound or loud sound. In 1970, Paul announced the Beatles are breaking up. That means their, um, well, the band will stop do stop working. 1975, after John's son Sin is born, he decided to stop making music for a few years. Well. The Beatles, the Beatles have stopped working. They are breaking up, but uh, each of them is still making music, like uh, singing for other people. In nineteen thirty, um, Paul. A John who was just released his first album in five years is killed by a disturbed fan. More than 1,000 people, 100,000 people gathered in New York Central Park to mourn. Well, a lot of fans might be proud, feel proud, but But uh, the fan with too many fan will um, be not so good. A lot of people will want your um, private information and also like you too much and um, want to disturb in your life or something else. In 1996, Paul, George and Ringo is tape of John singing a demo to record the first new Beatles song since they broke up. Free as a bird goes straight to number one. After more than um, five years or more, um, um, 16 or something years, the first song first new song of the Beatles is Free as a Bird. So, a lot of fans remember them. Of course, it's going straight to number one. And uh, even though they lost John, they're still Beatles. In, nine, uh, two, in 2001, George dies of cancer. Well, maybe he drink beer or wine or well using smoke but well what who left is the another one Paul and Paul and Ringo I don't know if they're still alive today or not but a lot of parents of our like my mother still no was a fan of the Beatles. She also a fan. Well, her the taste of feeling is kind of different. Sometimes this person, sometimes that person. Well, the people that uh, sing great sing, good at singing, dancing or something. She like her. She like them. She liked the Beatles because they were legend. Well, and after what I say, you, do you know why they're a legend? Of course you do. They also, they're also the, uh, they're also the a famous band all around the world. And um, even though the Beatles no longer anymore exist anymore, but everyone will remember it so if you want to know more and uh, want to know or hear them sing or something you can search in the internet and uh, buy some more book about them 
read more about them in the a newspaper or a, a lot of people uh, write about them so this is the end of my review thank you for listening goodbye see you again soon